Well, hello everyone. I'm here giving you breaking news. I'm news reporter Jack here in Harlem, New York, and I'm giving you breaking news about Nigeria. As you know, the Sunday school was taken to Nigeria by a backpack and they're there for Easter and they are going to give a presentation about Easter. Can't wait to see it. Hope you enjoy it. And also here with the squirrel. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When the evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him, one after the other, Surely I, or surely you don't mean me, Lord, that's what they say. Jesus replied, The one who dips his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. So the Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe that man who betrays the Son of Man, it would be better for for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, one of the twelve disciples, and this was the one who betrayed him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi? Jesus replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and he went and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it and when I drink it um, anew with you and my Father's kingdom. When they had sung, they went, well, what happened was, they went, they sung a hymn, and they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus told them, this is, well, this very night, you will fall away on my account, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. 
But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on, account of, on the account of you, I never will. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, This very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all of the other disciples said the same thing. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay, stay here and keep watch with me. Went a little farther, he fell on his face to the ground. Yeah, he fell on his face and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, Father, it is not is it not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it? May you will be done. When he came back, he found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time saying the same thing. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. While he was Still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with a large crowd of armed men with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests and elder, elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Do you want, he says, Do you, or excuse me, Do what you came for, friend, or do what you came for, friend. Then the man stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrest him. With that one of Jesus, 
Well, with that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it out, and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him. For all who draw the sword, or all who live by the sword, will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call my father, and he will at once put at disposal more than 20 legions of angels? But how, then, would scripture be fulfilled that it must be happen this way? In that hour, Jesus came, what in that hour, I'm sorry, Jesus said to the crowd, I am I leading a rebellion that you have to come with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me. But this has all taken place that in, that in the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. They were scared. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest, he entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests and the old Sanhedrin we're looking for false evidence against Jesus so they could put him to death. But they did not find any. Though many false witnesses came forward, finally two came forward and declared, This fellow said, I am destroying the temple of God and will rebuild it in three days. Oh, that's it? I can't believe it. Well, you have to see what happens tomorrow to our to what's gonna happen to Jesus. I don't know. So far, he's been arrested, he was praying, he's suffering for God, it's godly suffering. And we've learned that with godly suffering, there's always a reward. Hey, what's the reward that Jesus, what is the reward that Jesus is going to receive? Hey, well, guess we'll have to find out. I'll see you later, guys. Hey, look for us tomorrow.